this is Robert with Go Engineer Technical Support with another quick tips video. Today we're going to talk about uh, finding the volume, the interior volume of hollow structures. This time we're using an assembly. Uh, we have a couple of techniques for this on the channel already, but uh, I'm here to show another one. Here I have this egg-shaped piece, and across the bottom you see that there's a hole in it. And I kind of want to get the volume of the part across the middle, um, but I don't really want to like close the hole necessarily on my model. You could do that and then maybe do like a combined feature, but it isn't really what I want to do. So instead I'm going to show you a technique to use uh, surface bodies. And uh, this part will grow with the uh, if we change the dimensions here, and it won't require us to refill in the hole and then re redo the measurements. So that's why I like this technique. Uh, we're going to do an in-context part, or a virtual part, by clicking uh, Insert Component and then New Part, or you can click on Insert at the top, and then Component, and then New Part. And it wants us to select a plane. You can see here, select the face or plane on which to position the new part. I'm going to choose the top plane because it makes me choose uh, a face, but I'm not actually going to draw a sketch here, so I'm just going to immediately exit the sketch. Discard changes. So you can see over here we've got a new part. Its name is in blue, which means we are currently editing it, and its name is in brackets, which means that it is a virtual part. There's nothing in it right now, not even a sketch. We're not going to use sketches at all to make this part. We're going to go to our Surfaces tab on the Command Manager. You can right-click on any toolbar, and I'm sorry, you can right-click down here and turn on the Surfaces tab if you don't have it already. And I'm going to choose Offset Surface. And I'm going to choose the interior faces of the part. Now, I mean, if I just click, I'm going to get the outside face, and we don't want that. So I'm going to right-click instead and choose Select Other. And the only thing that was behind my mouse when I did that was this face, so I'm going to select and now I've got the inside face. I'll do the same thing down here. Select other and, uh, oops, I missed. Select other and face. There we go. So now we have these two faces selected and I'm gonna set the offset to zero. Click OK and now we have some surfaces. I'm gonna exit editing the part and we've got our original parts here and we have our, in con our uh, virtual part. We can still open the part by itself, even though it's virtual, as long as the assembly is open. Now, we do have to close this up to get the volume, but now we're closing up this rather than closing up our uh, original parts. I'm going to close that by selecting this edge here and choosing just a filled surface. And you can see there's a yellow preview there showing filling in. Now right now it's set to contact. If I change it to curvature, it'll make a curved face that follows the uh, follows the original face here. Curvature. So it doesn't like that a little bit. No, it looks great actually. So that's great. I'll click OK. Got it. Now we're going to knit these three surfaces together. And we're going to merge entities and form a solid. Got a solid part. Got our egg here. The black edges indicate that they were knit together. And the solid bodies folder here indicates that the surface bodies are gone and they've been replaced by a solid body. If I section it, you can see solid all the way through. So then we can go to our Evaluate tab, click on Mass Properties, and we can get our mass or our volume, or any other information that we want to get out of this. So I'm going to close that out. And then back to the assembly. Yes. We can see that we have our center part here and our two others. And then when we're done we're, when we're done with that we can, you know, we, we can just suppress the part. Sure, we'll save it. Suppress the component. Our assembly is back to its original state. We didn't have to edit our original parts at all. And that is one of our ways of learning to get an interior volume. This has been Robert with another Quick Tips video. Have a great day.